welcome to pouches and more and today we will prepare this makeup brush or it can also be used as a pen pouch it's simple to make it's completely lined from inside there are no raw edges we have also attached the lining and the main fabric so the lining also neatly is neatly stuck inside so this is how it will be looking it's got box corners on the base as well as on the top beside the zip it can hold pens also so let's check out the materials required to make this pouch we require two pieces of main fabric fused with interfacing and these measure 5 inches by 10 inches we also require two pieces of lining fabric and they also measure 5 inches by 10 inches we have used a false leather piece over here you can also use the lining piece this measures 1 inches by 5 inches and we require an 8 inch long zip these are all the materials required so first we are going to make the boxing so this is on the wrong side we will be making the boxing sorry we will take a marking of 1 and quarter inches on both the sides that is base side and base bottom of the base we will be doing a perfect square over here this is quarter inches by uh, one and quarter inches sorry by one and quarter inches on the top part we'll be making a boxing of one and quarter inches by one inch so from above we'll be measuring only one inch so this is the one inch marking so from above it will be one inch and from the sides it will be one and quarter inch this is one and quarter inch so the box will be one inch by one and quarter inch So this is the top base box and this is the top box. We will be doing that on the main fabric. So we have done the marking. On top, this is the top. So make a marking where we have 1 inch by 1 and quarter inch. This will be the top where we will be, we'll be attaching the zip. Now we place one one lining below each of the main fabrics. And we are going to cut this box. So this base box as well as the top box we are just going to cut it in the main and lining fabric so this is cut this is how it will be this is the top part remember that now we will have to attach the zip so on the top part we will be attaching the zip we will put the main fabric right side facing up and we are going to place the zip slider side facing down and we are going to align it from the top now the slider is facing down now we will place the lining material right side facing down align it from the sides and the top and clip so here right sides of the lining fabric and main fabric are together and we are going to make a straight stitch so our zip is attached over here we just want to open both the fabrics hand press it and make a top stitch on the main fabric so lining and main fabric we are going to put them together hand press them and make a straight stitch that is a top stitch For the other side we are going to again take the main fabric and the lining fabric. Remember to put the 1 inch by 1 and quarter inch box on top. So right side is facing up, we will put the right side facing down. So right sides of the main fabric will be together aligning from the sides and the top and we need to clip it. So we need to make a stitch so here we are going to place the lining on the other side so we are just going to turn it over and lining will be going on the lining material right sides together align it from the sides and the top and again clip it 
now we need to make a stitch over here so here we have got the right sides together of lining fabric and right sides together of main fabric straight stitch open the thing both lining fabric and main fabric on one side and press it and make a top stitch so this will be same top stitch now I finished doing top stitch on both the sides we will be preparing the pull tab so for that we have taken this piece of false leather so it is folded enough we are going to make two stitches over here we are going to get two pull tabs out of this so we have made two stitches now we are just going to cut this in half like this so these are for both the sides we have got two pull tabs I will take the prepared pouch and we need to stitch the pull tabs so we have put the fabrics on either side and we are going to take one of the pull tabs pull the slider inside and we are just going to fold the pull tab like this and place it with the raw edge outside so the loop side will be inside and we are going to place this on the zipper teeth so the loop side will be inside we are going to do the same thing for the other side also so just fold the pull tab the loop side inside the raw edge outside place it on the zipper teeth it has to align with the fabric raw edge and make a straight stitch on both so we attach the pull tab we just cut the extra zip as well as if there is any fabric now take both the main fabric right sides together and the lining fabric right sides together and we will just clip this we need to stitch the base So this much we are going to leave it open here we are going to make a straight stitch and here we are going to make both sides and this will be open now we have stitched the base we wrap that open and we also need to stitch this sides Our side and base is stitched just hand press the hole all the seams on all the sides we need to flatten the seam so just hand press it of the lining material as well as the main fabric we need to just hand press the seams once the seams are flat we are going to first stitch the top boxing that is which is near the zip so for that we are just going to flatten it like this get the seams to the zipper teeth like this now the zipper will be sandwiched in between the lining and the main fabric so we are just going to flatten it like this and clip it remember to flatten the seams also we will be doing the same thing for the lining fabric also just flatten it flatten the seams also get the side stitch aligned to the zipper teeth so here we will be having the lining the zipper teeth and the main fabric we are just going to flatten it properly neatly align the seams properly so here we have got the lining fabric and here we have got the main fabric and in between there is the zipper remember to flatten the seams also now put the lining fabric fold and the main fabric fold together on both the sides and we need to make a stitch on that so this is how it will be this is one side we have done align the folds also flatten the seams so this is how it will be looking the zipper teeth is sandwiched in between we need to make a stitch on this we will be doing the same thing 
on the other side also so just flatten the seams align the flat seam with the zipper teeth do the same for the lining fabric also flatten the seams align it with the zipper teeth flatten the entire boxing align both of them together main fabric and lining fabric and now we need to stitch both of these so a simple straight stitch over here as well as on this side so both the sides will be making a stitch So our center boxing that is the zipper side boxing is done now for the base boxing we'll be doing the same thing as we normally do flatten it get the side seam to the base seam flatten the seams of both the base as well as the side clip it as of now and we need to do the exact same thing for the lining fabric also so flatten the seams get them together the side seam as well as the base seam get them together align the seams and we need to make a stitch on this also so just flatten it neatly we'll be clipping this do that on the other side also flatten the boxing get the seams together flatten the seams also align them and then clip them now we'll be making a stitch on the lining fabric as well as the main fabric so our stitching is done now in case there is any extra fabric in the center that is the zipper boxing that we did we are just going to cut it so here extra fabric we are just going to cut it and we will be cutting it on both the sides so on the other side also in case there is any extra fabric on the zipper side boxing we are just going to cut it so that is done now we are just going to get the same side we are just going to get the lining base boxing and the main fabric base base boxing together so same side we're just going to get them together like this and we're going to attach them so that is we're just going to make a stitch on them so this is one side the center boxing that we did that is the zipper boxing we're just going to push it inside like this and the base boxing of the lining as well as the main fabric we're going to put them together and make a stitch so we're going to attach the lining along with the main fabric and we're going to make a stitch over here now our stitch is done and from this opening we'll just turn the whole pouch so we have turned the pouch lining side out this is a simple straight stitch that we'll be doing we can hand stitch it or machine stitch it it's just a simple stitch and it will be inside the pouch so we have also finished stitching this and now we'll turn the pouch to the right side so this is how our pouch will be looking it's completely done and since we have attached the lining fabric also inside it won't be coming out it's completely stuck inside that is it is stitched to the base so this is how the finished product will be it's simple to make it's completely lined so please do try this Watching. Bye.